KWWL's Justin Andrews is there now. And Justin, what's going on there? Well, Bob, things just wrapped up here at Redmond Park, but it's national events like the one in Ferguson that caused some here in eastern Iowa to reflect on finding a solution to end violence and to shed some light right here in their own communities. We're doing the right thing. That's right. Dozens of people gathered holding powerful signs, talking. Or more likely be considered a suspect versus a prospect. This is not just a problem that only impacts Ferguson, Missouri. And shedding light on what they call undeniable injustice and violence happening here in Cedar Rapids. This neighborhood is often neglected. They're taking the next step in finding new solutions to end violence and other community problems right in their backyards. So hopefully we can bring the community together to realize that that this is a community problem and we need community solutions. Danielle Holiday organized this protest. She says the solution starts with you to break the cycle. People don't want to work with officials that they're afraid of. Okay, and, and officials don't want to work with people that they generalize. City and church leaders along with police officers joined in because they tell me hearing problems in the community in which they live in too helps them do their jobs. Our leadership, which is currently not diversified, if you think there's a problem you should do something about it. And with each candle lit to remember those lives lost in gun violence, it's also to shed some light on problems hoping to bring solutions. Be the change. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Now, both city leaders and people living in this area says the solution to this is to build strong relationships and to form an open line of communication between the two. We've got you covered live in Wellington Heights. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. All right, thanks very much, Justin. Of course, gun 